All right, guys, welcome back to the Mercenaries. We are playing as Luis on the village. All right, so Luis is a little bit different with his um, mayhem mode, but you're going to use it more or less in the same way that you would with Leon. Uh, he does have increased attack damage, but he also throws uh, a dynamite pretty much at his feet and uh, blows up all the enemies around you. You are invulnerable to your own dynamite, and um, it does stagger the enemies whenever they're right up on you. So, let's, um, okay, didn't want to already lose my combo. Um, Luis's overall feeling is a little slow. Um, so he's not as fluid as Leon was. But he's not, he makes up for that with uh, strength. So he's not weak. Unfortunately, he's just, he's a little bit on the slower side. Um, with the bolt action and the red nod being some of the slowest weapons in the game, um, you just kind of have to work your way around that. Um, his. Melee attacks are pretty strong. It'll kill pretty much everything within uh, one hit. But some of it does has a little bit of a wind up. Like this. pulling out that pipe, uh, it takes a little bit of time. But. Okay, I gotta reload. Um, the village. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, Mayhem. So you can kind of just drop it and then spam the ground and kill literally everything around you. Alright, here's the big guy. Uh, So you have uh, the bullhorns with the sledgehammer, you have Dr. Salvador, and then you have, oh god. Okay, that was close. And then you have the Bella sisters and Dr. Salvador. So, a good way to take them out as Luis is definitely the dynamite spam. Okay, somehow that didn't reach him. Look out for the rooftop archer. Uh, these guys are the ban by existence. I hate, hate them in every single Resident Evil uh, game that they're in. Oh, whoops. A good time to pop out mayhem. You can kind of use it on cooldown. Um, of course, I like to save it for the or have it available whenever the stage's boss comes out. But you can kind of get away with it on the village a little bit with Luis. You kind of build it up quickly. And um, can I kill him already? Uh, and whenever I have a yellow right here in the middle of the town square, uh, it kind of gives me a little bit more leeway to be reckless with it because if it if they show up and catch me off guard um i can simply just walk over here and grab that we're gonna make our way over to that rooftop to grab the green orb because um the more time you have at the end the more score you get into that and there might be one over here too just make sure while you're running around looking for this stuff you don't lose your combo
Luckily, I got two more knives. Oh, fuck. Alright, kind of took the L on that one, but it's fun. anyway so you might be invincible to your own dynamite but you're not invincible to all the other ones around it right, let me go back in here and get that yellow wood right, here are the Bella sisters Unlock the fuck out of them, you'll be okay. His dynamite is uh, really useful for just wiping out crowds. I never even made it to the roof yet. I do want to go up there and get that time before the game ends, which the game is about to end. Um. Uh, very shortly. It wouldn't have hurt leaving one of those guys alive uh, with the Plaga's head if you have um, a flashbang in your inventory. It's a really easy way to uh, secure a kill. Getting up to the final fight, main, main fight. Okay, I whipped all those shots. Can simply just run over here, grab this, and keep going. This guy really doesn't want to die. That was close. Now, where's the last guy at? That was close. Right at the end, almost lost combo, but um, we didn't do that. Even if we would have lost a combo right at the end, we would have uh, gotten the score anyway and we ended up with a high enough time bonus right at the end where 
that combo would have sucked to lose, but we would have gotten it one way or the other. So that's Luis on Village. Uh, stay tuned for Castle and Island following next. Till next time.